Work on the full muscle fiber, the whole muscle. Ha, whatever you're activating. Ha, we're almost done. Ha, ha, and five, four, three, two, one. Ah, jeez. Ah. All right, next one. We're gonna work on is triceps. We're gonna activate the core a little bit and activate the uh, calves, stuff like that, while we're working our triceps. All right, so we're almost done with the break. Huh. Notice how we're breaking, we're not sitting still. Some people literally sit down and they're like, ah. Oh. Oh, and they're drinking their water, relaxing for like two or three minutes. Ah, and then they get up and they do their eight reps. That lasts only about six, uh, maybe 15 seconds, which should last way less than that. They sit down again ah, for another four minutes. You know, I don't know what the hell's going through your brain, man. That's the problem. You're letting things go towards your brain. Don't think about it. You gotta move, move, move. Here we go. Grab the ball. Bring it over your head, behind your head, like so, all right? That's what the motion we're gonna be doing. But before we get started, I want you to get shoulder width apart your legs, slightly bend the knees, face that pelvic up, crunch in like a martial artist, like Bruce Lee. All right, that's gonna activate your core, your obliques, everything within your midsection without wasting energy. Then I want you to get off your heels a little bit. You can go high if you want, it's gonna be too difficult. So just get off your heels a tiny bit. That's all that matters that we activate the core more and the calves, all right? Elbows in tight. And go, just fist pump basically with both of your arms. Bring that ball as high as you can. Again, rapid. Doesn't mean fast, it just means rapid with the contraction, activa activation and deactivation of the muscles. Ha. Turn them on, turn them off right away. Ha. Have a little jerk at the top if you can. Ha. That jerk is gonna send a little sense of danger down to your core, or from your core to your fingertips. There's gonna be a huge contraction. It's controlled danger, controlled momentum. It'll help you burn more calories, get more definition. We're almost done. And five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah. All right, now we're gonna work on hand and eye coordination. A lot of biceps, a lot of lats, a lot of core, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of legs because of the stance we're gonna be in. All right, so we're gonna be juggling on this one. It's your hurt right, juggling. That's where the hand and eye coordination comes in. All right, working the mind. Mind is working the mind is very is paramount. All right, that's the most important thing. The follow the body will follow. All right, matter of it, as you can tell, I'm <laughs> slipping my words right now. But I'm keep I keep going, going, going. Here we go. Go ahead in a horse get in a horse stance or what I like to call sumo stance because it looks like you're about to get ready to sumo stand. Uh, sum, uh wrestle. <laughs> It doesn't matter where you're not. Anyhow, here we go. Get it in a white stance, really low. All right, so all you're gonna do is try to keep your forearms parallel to the ground. All right, you're just gonna throw it from left to right. You gotta be careful to balance it. All right, hand and eye coordination. Don't stare at the ball. Use your, uh, use your uh, peripherals. All right, just keep going and you'll see. You'll start feeling it on your biceps, on your shoulders, on your lats. Doesn't matter what you do with your opposite hand, for, but use it wisely. Use it to counterbalance. And just nice and lightly toss it over, catch it, balance it, toss it over. Try not to stop, meaning like this, think about it, and then go, no. The deceleration and explosion is a mild form of plyometrics. That's what's gonna make you engage the core big time. Ha. And be explosive. Ha. And you're getting hand and eye coordination. Ha. A lot of workout. Ha. We're almost done. Notice I'm using my legs. This is not cheating, because I'm still staying low. But now I'm activating ligaments and tendons on my knees and ankles, strengthening those as well. Ha. My stabilizing muscles, stuff like that. We're almost done. And five, four, three, two, one. Ha. Ooh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Ha. All right, we have one more that you might not be able to do depending on where you're at, which is the ball, we're gonna be throwing it to the wall. We're gonna be doing different types of motions with the ball, the way we're throwing it to the ball, uh, towards the wall, I mean. But we're now we're gonna do one more set of push-ups to freaking uh, build up the lactic acid on our chest 
and shoulders a little bit on our lats. So when we do the ball to the wall, we manipulate that lactic acid and use it to our advantage. All, right? all that heat is going to create more friction, uh, more heat in between the friction that we're creating with every single motion, which means what? More calories being burned, three times the amount of the normal rate. You might think like, oh, that's impossible. Go ahead, think what you want. All right, again, the word, think what you want. All right, you get out of it what you put into it. If you activate many muscles, trust me, right? You're burning calories throughout every muscle that you're engaging. All right, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. All right, here we go. One last time, push-ups. Doesn't matter how you do it. All right, get ready. Get set, challenge yourself, and go. You only get out of it what you put into it. And 10, 